Republican lawmakers also voted to include accommodations for disabled lawmakers. After nearly five hours of debate, the state assembly passed a rule change to allow paralyzed Representative Jimmy Anderson to call into committee hearings. But as 27 News first reported, Anderson voted against it along with his Democratic colleagues. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin has you covered on how this vote signals more political divide in the state. On a party line vote, the assembly adjusted its rules on Fitchburg representative Jimmy Anderson's accommodation separately. But Anderson and his Democratic colleagues still voted against, saying it fell short of everything he wanted. But what divided lawmakers was another change Republicans introduced, allowing the assembly to take multiple attempts at overriding the governor's vetoes. Limiting the voice of the minority party. I get it, we're not going to win most days limits the ability of our constituents, voices to be heard, and changing the veto override process to one party's advantage is a big deal. According to you guys is a, uh, on the other side of the aisle, Mr. Speaker, is this massive power grab, although it doesn't change the, po the power at all. The governor still retains his ability to veto items. The threshold for a veto override doesn't change. All Democrats voted against the veto override rule, causing both sides of the aisle to erupt in the chambers. Democrats calling it a power grab and Republicans defending the resolution. Vote against the veto override is crazy in ideas that is undemocratic apparently to have elected representatives voting on issues. This makes no sense. None. Governor Tony Evers put out a statement about the vote, calling it a lame duck 2.0. He added Republicans are choosing to exploit a request to make accommodations for a member with disabilities just so they can have more opportunities to override and ignore the will of the people.